2010 to 2014 was the peak of piracy attack in these areas where around 7,000 seafarers were kidnapped for ransom by these pirates. Basically, Gulf of Aden, it connects Asia with the best part of the Europe. 70% of the trade is being carried out through these lanes only and they know very well due to the civil unrest in Somalia, the menace of piracy has increased over the period of time. These pirates are very dangerous and they can go to any extent to get the ransom. More than 60 sea pirates have lost their lives in that period. Though it has reduced a bit, but still we need to take all the measures whenever we are entering these areas. We have navy escorts, we have the armed guards on board when we are passing and apart from those measures we are also breaking measures and we are facing many ways. Basically these many ways act as just to warn them that there are a lot of other crew who are keeping a watch on them. Along with the razor wires, the hoses has been placed at a stretching location on board so that it creates as a water curtain all around, especially the aft part of the vessel, basically the accommodation part, so that it will make them difficult to board the vessel. As soon as their boat will be alongside, they will get drenched out, apart from the razor wires, which will act as a deterrent, and it will give enough time to the security guards who are placed on board to take actions. So guys, this is basically the first layer of defense that is being placed on board. Obviously guys, nobody want to get kidnapped by these guys and we want to be safely. The safety of the entire vessel lies how well we are prepared with respect to anti-piracy measures. I wanted to show you how security drill is being conducted on board prior entering high risk pirate infested areas. Guys, trying out their weapons. Just a sneak peek, guys. Obviously, I'm going to be able to how we defend ourselves. So, it will be like four days yes. entry. And from here, uh, limit of HRA when it starts, you guys will be keeping the watch. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, this. It starts with a here there is a bottleneck called Babal Mandal. It's a very sensitive area. Of late, lot of attacks has happened here. And these guys are well trained. They are having long ladders, they have got knotted ropes, and they will just fling it to your fist flat and they will try to board the vessel. So when you have a that situation, this just a glimpse of how a uh, security meeting is being conducted among this team management and security guards on board prior entering the area. I'm just trying to show you how security is being conducted on board prior entering high risk area. This is very important for the vessel so that people on board are aware what action needs to be taken and they don't get panicked. Okay, okay, here. Yeah. all crew, uh, they are have been uh, reported that three ships are approaching our vessel from the port border side. And report to me, take the head count. I can see right now they are at one mile. Chief also coming. Okay, three skips have been approaching us in high speed. They are uh, one mile now, and already the security guards have been deployed. Okay, please uh, take the head count. Everybody is present here? Yes, sir. Everybody is present. Okay, what is the speed right now? So 14.0. After that, the skip. Go, go, go. My apology, guys. Uh, due to security reasons, I have inserted filter.
there are a lot of instances on record where crew have managed to save themselves just because they are well trained and they are able to respond in a confident manner whenever they are passing through pirate infested areas. the vessel so that we are safe and not being kidnapped by the pirates this corridor is a military established corridor upon which naval forces focus their presence and surveillance efforts uh, it is recommended that ships should use this uh, corridor to benefit from the military presence and surveillance so friends finally we are out of uh, Gulf of Aden area and we are continuing with our passage towards Singapore. Uh, with this video uh, I have tried my best to explain you all how merchant ships prepare themselves when they are passing through these high risk areas to avoid potential piracy threat. <laughs> 